the heat from the fire will draw that air in. Uh, mainly what I wanted to show you is my fire piston. Um, it's a unique way to start fire. It's one I really enjoy, and it's one we'll try here today. Um, the first thing that I have here, uh, obviously, is my bird's nest. Um, I found a bird's nest in a tree. I took a few juniper shavings and threw them in there, and that's going to act as a place to set my tender. But I mean, my uh, uh, slips my mind. I've been working out here all day. Um, the ember that I'm going to generate with the fire piston itself, I'm going to drop it in here. Um, I have a little piece of bamboo to um, actually like poke the ember out of the fire piston and drop it into my bird's nest. Um, hopefully you can see that there. Let's take a look. I'm guessing you can see that now. You can see the little bit of juniper inside the centerpiece there and my and my uh, little ember stick and the fire piston itself. So let me show you the fire piston. Carefully set my little bird's nest down here. My ember stick. There's a release valve on this side. This is a little more complex than you would have had back in the day. Um, indigenous peoples that use these Indigenous people that use these would have used something like two pieces of bamboo or um, a piece of wood that fits really snugly inside another piece of wood and they would have used a piece of tendon or something like that as an o-ring. Um, here we actually have a release valve. We have a piston um, machined out of stainless steel or aluminum. Uh, stain aluminum. It has a brass sleeve and I've actually got a little bit of char cloth in here because I don't have any ten tender fungus right now. So we'll uh, lubricate the o-ring just a little tiny bit and what's going to happen is I'm going to insert this in here with the release valve closed. I'm going to push on it really hard. I'm going to push on it really hard and that's going to create pressure. The pressure is going to ignite the char cloth or tender fungus or something else that you can find in the natural environment. I just find it a lot easier to use char cloth that I've made myself. Um, and all char cloth is is a little bit of cotton that you've put in a, a metal container of some sort that's airtight and you've burnt it on the fire. You've got you've heated it up on the fire without burning the cloth itself. So it kind of skeletonizes the cloth. That takes a spark and it'll burn like a lantern mantle if you've ever seen a lantern mantle. Those are uh, basically a factory produced really high quality char cloth. Um, and that's not exactly true, I know. So what we're going to do here is give this a try. Get everything ready. I know you can't see this that great, but I don't have a tripod with me, so you're just going to have to kind of go along with, for the flow this time, and we'll use a tripod next time. Let me fix my fire. I knocked it over making that chimney after I built it. I've got a spot all picked out here for my bird's nest to go into, and then hopefully I can, I'll have time to move some uh, other pieces of stuff there. So let's give it a shot. Messed up the first time there. It's funny because I showed this at work the other day and it was the first time. It's just a hit or miss fire technique. And this will fill up with smoke if you don't get it lit the first time and you gotta kinda blow that smoke out and get some fresh air in there. There we go, it's lit. It's like a little cigarette. drop it in there, it's still going. Okay, that one's not going to work for us. It went out. Let's get a little more 
of the juniper that I've collected. People call it cedar here in Texas, but it's juniper. Uh, I'll make a little more. surface for it to land in this time. Okay, let's try it again. Another little tiny piece of charcoal out of my container here. Got it ready to start here. Let's get it down in the fire. Get some of our sticks ready here. And it's that easy. Now it's that easy with char cloth. It's a little harder with tender fungus. Um, I wish I had some. If I had some, I'd use it, but I just don't. So let's take our stuff and put it up. And we've got a fire. We just need to keep feeding it here. Get it going. Make sure it stays going. Get some good embers in there, and uh, we'll cook some steak tonight. and hot for a few minutes and then kill it down. I don't want a big fire. That'll get it. Alright. That's our fire for the evening, so... Thanks for uh, watching, and uh, we'll do uh, flint and steel or something else next time. So, see you later.